Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and today we're looking at LG's 2015 flagship phone, the LG G4. I'm a bit late with my video, which is LG's fault, but I'm also really grateful to LG for sending me this one. This phone had to come all the way from the US to Belgium for me to do this video. Um, so thank you very much LG, I hope you like the video, even though I know you're not going to like what I'm going to say about the battery life and the position of the microphone jack. For people who don't want to watch the entire video, those are the only two things wrong with this phone. So if you're interested in buying it one, in buying one, just buy it. The only thing you have to know is that the battery life is a maximum of seven hours of constant use, uh, about three or four hours if you're just constantly playing video games without a charger, um, which you shouldn't do, go have a life. Um, but for me, when I'm just, you know, using it a lot, taking a lot of pictures, I'm a Snapchat Snapchat addict for some reason. Uh, I'm also constantly browsing stuff. Um, yeah, the battery life is not great, despite it having a 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is replaceable, but more about that later. And then the second thing, like seriously LG, microphone jacks go on top, not the bottom. But those are, as I said, the only two bad things. Now, again about the battery life, which is directly, directly related to LG's choice of SOC or CPU, GPU, whatever. Now the GPU, that is full-fledged stuff. It's really, really fast and it has to be because this is a 5.5 inch screen, Quad HD resolution. So that's 2560 by 1440. That's massive. That's 538 DPI's. Um, that's insane. It's not even needed. And with the G3, that really was an issue because contrast was rubbish. Now with this one, contrast is really, really good. I even have a uh, black and white background on this phone because contrast is good, screen is great. Um, no ghosting or no visible ghosting at least. Um, it's very responsive despite the insane resolution on this thing. So the screen, great. It is also one of their USP, so unique selling points, even though it's no longer unique because my sister's Oppo Find 7 has had Quad HD for a really long time. Anyway, moving on. Um, it is fast enough, as I said. Connectivity is great. Now, it does come with 32 gigabytes of built-in memory, which is very good, LG. Thank you for not cheaping out and putting only 16 gigabytes in there. But wait, there's more. Well, at least there's more if you put an SD card in there. So the back has this little cutout here on the right side where you can put your nail in. Hope you don't break your nail, um, which happens a lot for me for some reason. And then after a little bit of a struggle, the back comes off and reveals this. Now, 3000 milliamp hour battery. Um, and then right here in the top, you can see you have your mini as micro SD card reader as well as a micro SIM slot. Great stuff, LG. Um, you can also see that there's a giant camera on there. Now, with the back still on, um, it doesn't stick out, so it shouldn't scratch. Well, I mean, it is the most outsticking piece of it, but I don't think it'll scratch. It, it, it feels really good. Um, so it's an f1.8 lens on there, which is why the gloss is so big. Um, don't confuse this with real f1.8 um, lenses because this is a very small sensor. So the smaller the sensor, the smaller the glass can be to keep the same aperture. Uh, but you're not going to get full frame type of bokeh with this thing. Photo stuff is coming at the end of the video, guys. So stay tuned for that because I will focus a lot on video quality with this one. Um, sound quality. There's only really one speaker here at the back, which not not very good for sound quality LG uh, but then I do like it that they did it that way because it is a 5.5 inch phone and if they were to put it on the front um, it would have a lot more bezel and right now it's actually very small and because it's so curved it not only fits easily in your pocket where it just curves to your quadriceps uh, or if you're one of those weird people who puts phone in their back pockets like why do you do it but yeah still it's a the screen itself is slightly curved, which is really handy for that. And it also means it doesn't scratch when you put it on a table. When the screen falls on something, it can't have direct contact with the display, which is, you know, great. LG claims 20% better durability that wise. So great stuff. Um, build quality is really good, even though it's plastic. Um, you can get leather backs. I really wish LG sent me a leather back. Uh, but this is the metallic gray. It has this really nice um, I don't even know what to call it. It's like it's brushed aluminum-ish from left to right, so in a horizontal way, but then there are also these squares going on. It just, it just looks really, really nice, guys. Um, now, on the back, we also have a two-tone flash, but please don't use flash when taking pictures. Don't use it, but it's there as a flashlight, for example. Really, really handy stuff. Um, on the right is a IR um, remote, so you can 
control your TV with it, um, set up boxes, all that sort of stuff. Funny enough, I have an LG TV and it didn't work. Um, but in theory, it should do that. Um, it's also a laser beam sender thing because this one uses laser autofocus, not contrast detection um, or phase detection autofocus, which is great. Um, autofocus with this thing is really good. Um, however, in video, it can hunt a little bit. It's very smooth, so it, it does go for a more cinematic effect, but sometimes when you use the touchscreen... But yeah, more about video at the end, I said that. Why am I going on about video right now? I shouldn't. Um, now, battery life. It is a 3000 milliamp hour battery. It is replaceable, easily replaceable, um, but still it's not enough. And LG went with the slower CPU to combat the issue of battery life. Um, but it's just one of the things that happens when you put an insane resolution display in something. Um, about 42% in my use with um, auto backlight was battery, you know, was screen only. So yeah, I got seven hours on it out of this one of very intensive use. So uh, constantly snapshotting, taking pictures for testing, taking videos for my testing, browsing the internet because I keep forgetting the specs on these things. Uh, because specs don't matter, um, all you have to know, even with LG's um, skin on there, which has some really cool stuff, um, even with that stuff on there, it's incredibly smooth. Um, there's no lag, um, the, there's no ghosting, there's really, it works fine. You don't need the 810, you don't need all those extra cores. You still have six cores, who needs more? Um, so that's great. Um, and then there are some, some other things which are really neat. So for example, LG's health thing, um, it's a step counter, but instead of only counting steps like my Huawei right here, um, it can also detect when you're running or when you're cycling, which means that when I, for example, go mountain biking, I don't come back with 50,000 steps on my phone. That's great stuff, LG. However, it also means you can't cheat as easily. Now, it has some, some cool features, like for example, if you wipe the screen while the device is off, you can still get um, the clock if pushing the button on the back is too hard for you. Button is really easy to find. Um, these volume buttons, so lower and higher volume, they're ripped for your pleasure, uh, but they also make it really easy to feel. Now, with my Huawei, which I love, by the way, it is bigger. Um, this one's actually pretty small for me, uh, despite being 5.5 inches. Um, yeah, I wish it had a, a fingerprint sensor. I cannot stress how easy it is with my Huawei to just have a fingerprint sensor on the back. Um, positioning of the power button is great, but I wish it was a fingerprint sensor so that you just hold it and you unlock the phone. That was That's really great, my uh, Ascent mate here. All right, guys, time for the camera test. We're filming with the G4, no external microphone in ultra HD resolution. This, however, means we can only go up to five minutes of recording time. That's no problem uh, once you're in full HD or in the, uh, the slow motion um, video mode. Um, but in ultra HD, five minutes maximum. Um, why, I really don't know, guys. Please don't ask me. Hopefully, they'll fix this with an update because five minutes isn't very long, is it? Um, so yeah, very weird camera mount. I'm just going to do, um, you know, panning shots like this right into the sun just to see if the dynamic range is any good. Uh, and then we're going to move on to um, pictures. Now I have to say video quality is really good and the fact that it's stabilized um, also helps quite a lot with making this thing great for videos. Um, I might even just replace the QX1 with this. It's really good for videos. And um, yeah, so let me know what you think about the video quality on this thing because it is really, really good. Too bad you can't go past five minutes though. All right, so we, we saw everything with this phone is brilliant except for battery life. Um, and that video quality is actually insanely good. But what LG really tries to sell this at is, is the best phone camera, except for the Panasonic CM1. Again, that's, that's cheating. You can't put Leica lenses in you know, a one inch sensor in a smartphone, that's cheating Panasonic. Anyway, um, this is the basic photo mode. So all you have to do really is just press and it'll take the picture. You can't use anything else really. It's everything's on auto. Uh, you push the screen where you want to focus and it'll take a picture right after. That's the basic mode. You then also have auto mode. Now this is what most people mostly use, I think, I guess, uh, because in auto mode, you can actually press the button yourself or you can go to film. Now, if we just press this, you can choose between on phone or off phone um, image recording. You can turn the rule of thirds grid on or off. You can put a timer. You can even do it so that it, 
there's all this thing. So if you say cheese or LG or whiskey, it'll take the picture for you. Totally unnecessary. Um, you can also set what sort of aspect ratio you want. So do you want one by one aspect ratio, four by three or 16 by nine? Again, really, really handy stuff. Um, what else do we have? Oh yeah, HDR on or off. It does not make a difference and you shouldn't really use HDR because it takes different pictures and it's it always you know you lose some quality when that happens however because this is a stabilized lens I do find it quite sad that it hasn't got this um, sensor shift function where you can use the 16 megapixel camera and the, uh, the stabilization just moves it a pixel to the left to the right up and down and takes a 64 megapixel um, picture that would be really cool and the Find 7 has that so I don't see why this phone can't have it anyway we can also choose in our camera options between slow motion um, HD so 720p slow motion is also um, 720p at 120 FPS uh, we can also go full HD which I guess is recommended because once you go into ultra HD as I said you only have five minutes of recording time anyway we do also have modes um, panorama modes We've all seen them, we all know that it's rubbish and that no one should ever use it. What we do have, however, is dual mode. And this has to be the funniest mode ever because it uses the front camera and the rear camera at the same time. And I put myself in a heart here, but I can also go with window, a post stamp, like one of those um, Polaroid pictures, stars, fisheye if you want to make your face look really fat, um, split view, and you can just, you know, go to a heart mode and take the picture like that uh, and then it gives an error message it sometimes gives an error message sometimes it doesn't it doesn't always work at least not for me anyway I'm also going to talk a little bit about the front facing camera um, this is actually a really good it's 8 megapixels it's really good it has this beautifying mode so you can be really good looking if you put it to 8 or you can be really ugly when you put it to 0 actually that's the, your real face it's not making you uglier, it's only making you prettier. Uh, and it does that by just taking detail out of your face, really. Um, do you like it? Do you not like stuff like that? I like to keep it on around three so it doesn't show that you're using it, but you do look better than you normally would, so that's all great. Um, basically, that's all there is for the selfie camera. You also have a few of those different little things, but we're not going to go into too much detail there. Um, we're going to use this one and we're going to turn the dual mode off because it's really stupid um, But it is fun. I mean for reaction pictures like you're posing with someone and at the same time you want to take a picture of what's happening or if you're photobombing um, That's that could help for you. I guess um, So when you push this thing it is a bit confusing though uh, You can also have manual mode and this is the mode that LG is freaking on about because you can go raw, you can go JPEG and raw at the same So you can go JPEG or JPEG and DNG raw at the same time. Um, that's really cool. And you have a lot of control about everything. So white balance, you can just make pictures look a lot warmer. You can make them look a lot colder. You can also just set it to auto. Um, manual focus with a nice slider here. So it's no um, a manual focus that you have to... to um, push the screen somewhere it's just a slider that's really cool let's just set it to auto again ISO between 50 and 2700 I have to say once that you're at um, 2700 it really isn't too good image quality so I would stay under 800 with the ISO um, shutter speeds can vary from 1 6,000th of a second which is really fast all the way to 30 seconds for um, long or double exposures even and there's also the uh, lock function so that will just lock your exposure settings. Really cool stuff. And it does take beautiful pictures. Uh, I'm going to go and take a few test pictures and show it to you guys with a stupid song behind it. Um, anyway, guys, if you like the video, press the like button. If you didn't like the video, press the dislike button. Uh, you can leave a comment. You can, what else can you do? You can share videos. No one ever shares videos. So you can share those videos. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it. Do you like the G4? Would you buy something else like a, an S6 Edge? I wouldn't. I like this one way more. This one and an external battery pack. Anyway, guys, um, thank you all very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.